Final leg, so day two of the World Championships in Doha. Amazing performances. Everyone was looking forward to the finals on the track and in the field. Jumping right into things, we had the men's 100 meters. Everyone's been looking forward to this. Christian Coleman from the United States, the predominant favorite coming into the meet. He managed to cleanly take the win. 9.76 seconds, a personal best, moving him to number six all time in the 100 meters. So great performance there. He was really, really improving upon his 2017 performance. We saw when he got that silver medal back in London, he got out really, really fast, but didn't maintain his his top speed as well. Here, he managed to do extremely well getting out extremely fast and decelerating the least relative to the rest of the guys, really maintaining towards that finish line. Great performance. In silver, we had Justin Gatlin, the 2017 world champion. He came up for second place, 9.89 seconds. Then in third place, Andre de Grasse, who back in 2015 got bronze. He managed to get the bronze medal here, 9.90 seconds. Great performances by all these guys. In fourth place, we had Akine Simbine from South Africa and Johan Blake came up for fifth uh, behind them. So great performances, all these guys. Of course, Christian Coleman, like I said, he maintained very, very well, but you could still see his form kind of breaking down a little bit. Looks like he's pulling himself down the track. If he starts to improve his form and really stays healthy, he's definitely going to be running something very, very fast. So keep a lookout for Christian Coleman and congratulations there. Now, moving into the men's long jump, one of the highlights of the night for me and one of the biggest surprises probably for a lot of people. We saw Tajay Gale of Jamaica. He made it to jump a personal best national record of 8.69 meters. That moves him to number 11 all time in the men's long jump. So great performance there. Echevarria from Cuba. He was probably the predominant favorite coming in, but he only ended up third place. Jeff Henderson from the United States. He managed to take silver medal in the long jump. But again, Tajay Gale really overcoming and surprising a lot of people. He actually was super consistent. He actually had a jump of 8.46 meters before his huge 8.69 meter jump. So great performance. He's really setting himself up for something big. He surpassed Echevarria on the all-time list now. Echevarria has a personal best of 8.68 from last year. So Tajay Gale moves up a, a step. And he, in my opinion, if he stays healthy and really consistent, we're going to see him throw down something really big when we get to Tokyo next year. So great performance by Tajay Gale. Now, women's 10,000 meters, Safana San, everyone was looking to see what she was going to be able to do. She had only run one 10,000 meters earlier in the season, but here she show and prove that she is one of the best distance runners in the entire world. She took the win in 30, 17.62 seconds. Huge performance, personal best for her. That's number 20 all time on the 10K list. She was in the pack for most of the race and then with about a bell lap to go, she managed to take the lead and did not look back. She surpassed Gide from Ethiopia who got the silver medal and then Tirop from Kenya who got the bronze medal. So great performance. She managed to pull the rest of the field to a lot of personal best. Seven of the top eight ladies managed to run personal Personal best in this race. So really deep performances that we had in the 10,000 meters against Safana San taking that gold medal. Now onto the women's hammer throw. We had Deanna Price. She was touted as the favorite going into the meet. She had the world leading performance and she delivered here. She took the gold medal with a best of 77.54 meters. Great performance. Kind of cleanly took that gold medal a large distance from the rest of the ladies. In silver medal place we had Fedora from Poland and then also from China we had Wang in third place. So great performances by all these ladies. It's the first medal that the U.S. has ever taken in the hammer throw. So Price really setting a precedence here. Of course, she's now going to be the defending champion going into the 2020 World Championships and definitely one of the favorites going into Tokyo next year. So great performance from Price from the United States. Now, jumping back to earlier in the meet, we had the women's 100 meter heats. Shelly Ann Fraser Price was the story here. She managed to come out with a win in her heat of 10.80 seconds. Huge performance to my knowledge. That's the fastest heat from a World Championships or Olympic Games ever. So she is really showing that she wants to run something fast in those semis and in the finals tomorrow. We also had Marie Jose Talu. She managed to run a personal best of 10.85 seconds. She didn't look as nearly as comfortable as Shelly and Fraser Price, but she's showing she wants to run something fast. We also had Dina Astro Smith. She managed to run and win her third heat in 10.96 seconds. So great performances by these top three ladies. We also had Muriel Ahure. She won her heat and as well as Elaine Thompson winning her heat. Blessing Okabari from Nigeria. She did not start. She was one of the uh, ladies who was potentially going to make the final, but she unfortunately did not start there. But again, Shelly Ann Fraser Price comfortably winning her heat 10.80 seconds. If she holds things together, she might, I think she's going to be able to get down to that 10.6 range if she's pushed by Elaine Thompson as well. So keep a lookout for the women's 100 meters. Now in the women's 800 meters, we also had the semifinals. Little controversy, we had Nakai from Uganda. She managed to get the top qualifier.
Fire, but in her heat, she was running against Eunice Sum, as well as Natoya Ghoul. A little bit of pushing on both those ladies. She kind of pushed Natoya Ghoul out the way. Luckily, Natoya Ghoul still did qualify as one of the fastest qualifiers on time, so we're going to see something great in the final. Hopefully, all these ladies are able to run something really, really fast, so keep a lookout for the 800 meters. In the men's side on the 800 meters, all the most qualifiers got through. We had the heats, but Nigel Amos, probably one of the favorites, he unfortunately did not start. He got injured back in London Diamond League a couple months ago. He did run the Diamond League final, but looks like he wasn't able to recover fully from his injury here. So fortunately, Nigel Amos won't be in the final, but we're going to see a lot of guys competing in the semis and then finals later on the meet. All right, so those are the highlights from the day two of the World Championships. Of course, some other things. We had the men's 400 meter hurdle semis. All the most notable names got through. We also had the discus throw. We had the pole vault and the mixed 4x4. So a lot of things that went down today. Tomorrow on the next, on the third day, we're going to see the men's triple jump final. Of course, the women's 100 meter final. So keep a lookout for a lot more action coming through and we're definitely going to be reporting. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment below, like the video, and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.